Does buying when the RSI drops below 30 really lead to profitable trades? We backtested the classic 70-30 RSI trading strategy on the S&P 500. Over 30 years of data, the 70-30 RSI strategy is one of the most common approaches used by technical traders. The logic is simple. Buy when the RSI drops below 30, suggesting the market is oversold, and sell when it climbs above 70. But simple doesn't mean effective, so we ran the numbers. We tested this strategy on the S&P 500 using a 5-day RSI from 1993 until today. That's over three decades of data. Here's what we found. It triggered 191 trades. The average gain per trade? Slightly above 1%. But, and this is the deal breaker, the drawdowns were significant. Even though the average trade showed a profit, the inconsistency and risk made it a poor strategy. Without trend filters or better exit rules, the strategy is not tradable. So, can this be fixed? Yes, but not with the default settings. A shorter look-back period with two or three days is better. Adding a trend filter like the 200-day moving average helps avoid bad trades. Using time-based exits or adjusting ESI levels to match market regimes can also improve results. Our conclusion? The 70-30 RSI strategy with a 5-day look-back, as is, is not reliable for consistent profits. It's too infrequent and too risky. But with some tweaks and proper testing, RSI can still be part of a solid trading system, like many strategies we have shared on our website, so please make sure you check it out. And if you like data-driven strategies, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more videos like this.